J'ai commencé à, à drifter pour la dose d'adrénaline que ça donne. Euh... I drift essentially because of the adrenaline. That's what got me into the sport. I bought an S13. I started drifting at a track called Montmagny, which is outside of Quebec. And uh, starting from that point, it's taken me all the way here to Formula Drift. Mon nom est Sébastien Gauthier. Je viens My name is Canada. Sébastien Gauthier. I come from Quebec uh, in Canada. I've been drifting for five years. And I drift a 240SX, an S14, with around 800 horsepower. So the way I got into drifting is I bought an S13 without knowing anything about drifting, knowing anything about people that drift. It was just kind of a coincidence that I had an S13. I met somebody who competed in Canada already, and he introduced me to the sport. He told me, hey, bring your car. I'm coming to a practice night. Bring your car and we're going to introduce you to the sport and that's how I got started in drifting. The level of competition today in Formula Drift is at such a high level that it makes you learn lightning quick. You are following the best drivers in the world and because of that your learning curve is, is accelerated and you end up being a much better driver because of that. And I'm really happy to be here learning from the best drivers in the world and driving against them, and it's made me a better driver for it. C'est beaucoup plus difficile côté mental que physique pour moi. J'ai roulé longtemps en VTT. For me, the physical and mental aspect of competition, the physical is not as hard for me because I used to compete in ATV racing, and I was in the pro leagues then. So physically, that was very taxing for me. And coming into drifting, sure, the temperatures are high, up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit some days, and it's very hot in the car, but uh, the physical side isn't as difficult for me because of my training in the past. What is difficult for me is the mental side of things, as I have to drive as a team owner as well as a competitor, the truck and trailer from my house to all the, the rounds of competition, which can be 5,000 kilometers one way, 60 hour drives, and going across different time zones, borders, can be very mentally taxing. Uh, with all of that driving and um, truck time, then jumping into the car and trying to be prepared mentally to compete against these best drivers in the world, that can be really stressful, uh, more than the physical side, personally. So drifting is really fun because it's not drag racing, it's not circle track racing, it's something completely different all on its own. It takes a whole different set of skills to be good at drifting and I really like that they all work together to uh, make this really unique sport so entertaining and fun to be a part of.